The Washington Ballet's new production of The Nutcracker is set in historic Washington, D.C. in 1882 in a Georgetown mansion. Um, it's, of course, the story of Clara, and in her dream, she dreams through time. And The Nutcracker is based on George Washington, The Rat King is George III, and Act Two is set among the cherry blossoms in full bloom on the banks of the Potomac. One of my favorite scenes in The Nutcracker is the battle scene. Um, George Washington's uh, Continental Army is played by a young children as, um, as uh, toy soldiers and we, we rehearse them with such meticulousness. Um, their precision is equal that, to that of, um, I'd say, the Kirov Ballet Dancing Swan Lake. One of the great things about The Nutcracker is its music. Tchaikovsky's score is just one of the best scores ever written for ballet, and it's become the soundtrack for our holiday season. And um, it's great to have the Nutcracker Orchestra in the pit under the direction of uh, Scott Speck. And uh, just the whole proceedings has so much vibrance because we're enveloped by this music that we know so well. And it really transports us into this magical place where we can become transformed. When we began planning the Nutcracker, uh, I knew that one of the central values I wanted us to have was um, one of community and that the Nutcracker would be really about Washington, D.C. and reflect the unique face of our community. We would also engage the community in building the production. That means that we have not only students at the Washington School of Ballet, but kids from our Dance D.C. program um, and uh, students at our programs at the Ark in Anacostia, all coming together, working with our professional dancers and also notable guests from the community and cameo appearances that this kind of coming together of the whole community seemed to be um, at the center of what we're about as an institution. And uh, it really gels beautifully with what Nutcracker is about as a tradition, us coming together at the holidays to celebrate family and togetherness and retaining our sense of childlike wonderment about the world.